I think the thing that drew me to anthropology um, was I was initially very enlightened by the subject. Um, as a community college student, I had no idea what anthropology was. Um, I think I even mistakenly took it for entomology. <laughs> um, and so I was introduced to um, the anthropology club at Antelope Valley Community College. And I had been there for a couple of meetings and eventually, before even taking any anthropology classes, I just decided to change my major. <laughs> Um, and then since then, I, I've pretty much been taking anthropology classes since. And I found that the subject encompasses a holistic perspective. You can't learn about one thing without learning about something else. I think that's why I like archaeology too. Because archaeology encompasses something that's so old from the past while incorporating the future and the present. Hi, my name is Sarah Bertman, and the title of my project is She Sorts Seashells from Years Before, The Role of Student Research in the Analysis of an Orphan Collection from the Antelope Valley. I was working at Antelope Valley Community College, uh, my community college, and um, I was working with um, shell and stone beads from a collection that was originally excavated um, from 1982 to 1986 by previous Annalt Valley College anthropology students. I felt that it was important to do this type of analysis in order to not only give this collection purpose, but somewhat make it ethically whole again. I wanted to make sure that the reason why this collection was actually excavated was so that people could find out about the material remains. In a general picture, this does add up to the prehistory of this area of the Antelope Valley. My focus had to shift in that I had to recruit students and not only recruit them, but I had to teach them while also learning myself how to go along with the practice of carrying out this analysis. There were often times where um, we would start day's work and I would tell them, you guys, <laughs> we're going to do this today, but we're going to be learning along together because this is also the first time I've ever done this. I think one of the most important things that I was able to contribute was giving these students an opportunity to have some type of experience that from a community college they would eventually be able to take with them that may set them apart. And not only that, these are experiences that they can take along with them throughout the rest of their life. I think one of the main pieces of advice uh, that I would give to other students in this program uh, is to always be flexible with your project. Just acknowledge the fact that not everything will go as planned in your project. I put myself in one of the most predictable situations. I knew exactly where I was going for my field work. I didn't even excavate um, the materials that I was working with. So I knew what was already found. Um, however, there were so many elements that once I got into the field, I realized I had no control over. And um, for me, the part that wasn't planned, working with students, I felt that that was probably the one of the most enlightening experience I had. I was able to work with the future generation of archaeologists.